absolutely delighted to be joined by two Brentford legends, no less, Ivar Ingebarsson and Herman Horaitis. And Herman, I'll, I'll start with you first. Some very kind words you said with Peter. Uh, just to sum up your period, uh, it was a, a real spell, your first spell in England where you were playing week in, week out and getting used to English football. Well, I went to Crystal Palace, played in the Premiership for a year and uh, went to League, league uh, 4 in a sense after that year. And that made me, you know, think and realize how much, you know, it, how much quality there is around England, and how much passion there is, and you can only find it in, when you go to the lower leagues. And I really found the heart, and I loved it. Obviously, you know, we won a title that year. We won the league. 26 game, un games unbeaten as well in 1999, and you were part of that success. What was the dressing room? What was so good about the dressing room at Brentford? It was a young, such hungry squad to, to achieve something together. We were after this title. We were not after promotion, we were after a title. From, from day one, you know, we didn't start off very well, but we were after a title. And we knew, you know, we were. We weren't possibly the best footballing teams, but we, we were the fittest team by our country man. And we ran over teams. You know, that, that, that was mental strength as well. And that was the, uh, the dressing room and the crowd that created that atmosphere. We, we, were, we, were, we were invisible in a sense when we went on that run. Absolutely. We're going to talk about your time at Brentford and talking about dressing room morale as well. The team under Steve Koppel was a fantastic footballing team. Yeah, it was. You know, obviously Steve Koppel was a very proven manager even at that time and obviously kept on doing really great things. But uh, he was just very good of uh, bringing the best out of players, making a strong uh, squad and a strong solid system. And uh, it wasn't really a surprise, I think, too many that uh, the team went on very well and, and luckily we lost out in the in the playoffs uh, in, in the end. But uh, And then the team more or less split up after that. Uh, but a big part of the success had to be up, uh, up to that manager, Steve Coppin. Absolutely. You had three years at Brentford. Uh, what's your overall experience of your time at Griffin Park? I absolutely loved it. I was coming straight, uh, straight from Iceland as an amateur player. Uh, to be given a chance to play at Brentford was brilliant. This guy here obviously played a big part in that of me getting my first chance. Uh, and then, as I said earlier on, I had 13 really good years here and, and uh, enjoyed the, all of them. Yeah. Absolutely. I say this in previous interviews to former players. You're always welcome at Griffin Park and we hope to see you here again sometime soon. Obviously, Fantastic. we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Thanks.